Alright, I'm not even doing an intro. This is Royal Gaming. I guess I'll do a small one. I'm not excited for this episode because I know it's coming and I've done some research and I've seen what can be done and I've seen how well the perimeter defense system works against Reapers. I'm just not ready for this, but you can actually hear it in my voice because I know what we have to do. I know we're going to go. I'm going to prepare a little bit first and then we're just booking it to the island and I do have a bit of a strategy and I've seen it work time and time again so far. So hopefully it'll work this time, but just there's not much commentary in this one. You know why? And this might be edited a bit differently, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead into it. I'm genuinely nervous. Just, um, wish me luck. 13 minutes. I'm at right now. I'm still here in the Reaper. It's all right. Two bits of water. Yeah, that's definitely a Reaper. I just don't know why it's, why it's here. That's all right. All right, well, I can't sleep because of the time. I still have two bits of water. Here we go. I got the system. <laughs> Can you tell how iffy I am right now? <sighs> here we go. I want to prepare a little bit first. Oh, yeah, I'm out of... That's not good. At least I have good fins. Actually, if I could find a piece of copper on the way, it'd be great. I thought I saw one. Oh, freak, I'm going the wrong way. 600 meters? I don't know where I am, but all right. Just gotta remember. Where the frick am I? Oh. I, I lost track of where I was, but that's all right. Get copper just randomly. Okay, all right. That was unnecessary. All right, let's prepare a little bit. Let's get going. I want plenty of water. All right, then I need a battery. Here we go. How many med kits do I have? I have two. Okay. All right. Where are you at, sir? Did I like turn? It oh no, I see it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I have the. I have that, so I can avoid them. I'm genuinely just gonna keep like doing that as I go, just in case anything comes up behind me. How much power does it use? Hold on. It just uses one percent. From what I saw, it's just smooth sailing until you get there. And I'm gonna go around the left side because the Reaper spawns around the right. Oh. Okay. Alright, where am I at? Just where I wanted to be. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna hear the Reaper. There you are. I'm good. Okay. I'm all right. All right, let's park you here. Detecting massive let's go. signature in the region. Hey. Cannot identify. Guys, I made it. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like a lot. I know it doesn't, but it's just, you know, it's just the Reaper that... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. The fact that we're on the island means we're okay. Now, I just want to do a bit of exploring, of course, first. Yeah, that's the best place. To so, the yeah, here's the big alien gun, by the way. You'll notice I'm not surprised in any bit by it because I'm familiar to these with these things. And the Reaper is going to be down there in the water down east. Actually, I might just go down there just to show you all what... Well, no, not without my sea moth. Here's the purple tablet. Again, I, I know all these things. So I'm used to it. It's fine. Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh, hey, how's it going? And right, that can actually get us in to... Oh, uh, it's a drop! Oops. I'll let myself reach in. I'm good. Yep. And here we go. Force field's down. What are you? Scans indicate this structure mm -hmm. is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Mm -hmm. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. There's what I want. I don't know if you see it over there. Nope, that wasn't that wasn't it. I'm only gonna explore a little bit because I don't want to miss the sunbeam. But yeah, so it's it's really a cool place. It really is. A data terminal. Unknown language. Mm -hmm. Attempting translation. Let's see, what does it give me? Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. Likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology, evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considered more psychologically developed than the common human. Further research required. They're really just their geniuses, pretty much. Whoa, he almost fell. There's what I want to see right there. Again, we're not going to explore too much because I want to be up in time for Sunbeam. Uh, but Ion Cube, these things are ridiculous, but awesome. Very useful. 
Look at this. Has no entry on the periodic table and unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy, likely grown artificially, suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit because it has been, trust me. It contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. Could be released in a controlled manner and likely uses batteries. Five kilotons. In other words, it's pretty much enough to destroy an entire planet. So it's like, it's it's insane. Yeah, so the reason I'm walking so slow, I want to conserve my water and everything like that. But I am going back up now and I'm going to go watch the sunbeam. But yeah, we're going to explore this place. As soon as the sunbeam arrives, <laughs> if you haven't already seen it, as soon as they arrive, we're going to explore this place a bit more. But so far, I've got what I wanted to come for. Now, there's magnetite here, but there's also magnetite in the, uh, in the little mushroom caves down there where the worms are. And I actually watch the worms. While they scare you, they don't do much damage. So it's... It's like, it's one of those things like, oh, it's terrified, but I can, you know, it's, it's fine. But all right, there's warpers down in the water and everything like that. But we're going to go ahead and just actually, I wonder if I can walk into the island just a bit for a couple minutes just to kind of see everything that's around. What the frick? Reginald. I don't recognize that one. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, these things are evil. I, I genuinely hate those biters. The size of a tadpole, but they're evil. All right, well, we're here. Screw off! Screw off! That's right, get wrecked! Can't even touch this! I feel like there should be caves. Yep, there's big caves. We'll explore those in, in due time as well. I just don't want to look back, see my sea moth moving, and be like, what? You know? Bulbo tree, I've already scanned you, right? Yeah. But yeah, I, I did some research. The Reaper tends to stay down really far down so that's always a good thing i want to be up here i want to be up here watching i don't have well I still, I still do have this but that's 75 so my game froze okay that scared me all right we got three minutes and then it's happening i don't want it to happen but you know it's gonna happen <laughs> but yeah so if i were to go on the other side of the island the east side of the island and duck down to the water first thing you'd hear is a reaper scream and if you look down deep enough you can actually see it there's no way i'm going down like that because it does 80 damage to me so yeah i'm, I'm not doing that can i scan you oh why well, you fly away Hey, come on. So unfortunate. I like to be up here. Just I feel like if something's going to glitch out of the water, it's not going to reach me up here. So, you know, I'm taking every precaution, dude. I don't want to have a reaper find me. It's, it's just, I mean, th those things, now that I have the uh, sea moth, defense perimeter de perimeter whatever it's called now they have that the reaper can't really do anything because i've seen that in use and like as soon as it latches onto you just click it and it lets go and, and goes away so it's like yeah it works but still those those things just terrify me but yeah so we got a minute and a half until it happens but yeah so this is the big alien uh research facility in fact like i said we're gonna explore this much more once this event is over it's not gonna be like oh the event's over time to go home no we're gonna explore this um we're gonna go into the facility but it's well you're gonna see what it does here if you haven't seen it already but it's it's let's just say it's the defense system so you know it's it's not the the greatest Ooh, can i ah too far away but yeah also uh, i found out this is in the mountainous region so if you were to go out southwest west you're gonna run into the mountain biome which is where from what i read online six reapers live <laughs> and i was like I'm, I'm not going over there hey hey there oh that's so cute oh it's like a little dove Oh, that's so cute. We got 30 seconds. We should be hearing this thing. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Oh, here we go, boys. This is the start of something that... Oh, that's so cool to watch, though. It's so cool to watch, though. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure that would be considered a warning. A, a war you, you can leave. I'll find my way back. It's fine. Here we go. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. There we go. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Where? What? Ooh. Is that a building down there? Yeah. What there they are. Can't identify it. Oh, no. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Yep. Here we go. Why is it becoming static That's it's weird. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Why can't I see it? That's weird. Oof. Unfortunate. It got really static there. That was really weird. I don't know what happened. But yeah. There, there they go. Vaporized in a split second. Of course, it's becoming night now, so that's great. But, oh, man. Unfortunate, it really is. So, you know, that was like, it, it's a way of saying, here's your only way out. Oh, no. You know, like, also, I realize I'm running out of food, but again, I have the 75, so that's, that's at least something. But now, now we're gonna go explore. I just don't want to run out of food and die. I mean, I can always get back to the life pod. Oh, and there's it going back in place. 
It's so unfortunate. I don't know if I'm gonna search for the, uh, the Cyclops pieces just yet, because I want to upgrade my gear. So I want to get the modification station. But yeah, I guess that's its way of saying job's done. This job is completed. All right, here we go. Let's keep exploring. Oh boy. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain mm -hmm. whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Further data required. Yep. Oh, here's another island cube. All right. Oh, that's what I want to see. Okay. Unknown language. Attempting mm -hmm. translation. What you got? What you got? This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Okay. The facility's unknown construction materials identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. No indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Can't break it. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. This location is not listed, but there is evidence the designer is intended to harness the plant's natural thermal energy. It's very deep down. The facility consists of the upper engineer section where the schematic was found in the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool the control room is in the lower section and houses the only known way to interface with the facility however the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures yep i kind of just read that without thinking there so i'm not 100 percent sure what it said but that's okay is that weird it's probably weird your best probability of interfacing with this facility mm -hmm. is achieved by accessing the control room in the oh here section. we go here we go this is so cool it's the elevator. There's the moon pool. There we are. So if you go out there into the water, that's where the, the Reaper's in that direction, and there's the Warper down there as well. Wouldn't it be interesting if the Reaper was a robot designed to keep players away from the important things? That would be interesting. Oh, here's the staircase I don't like. Oh. Look at this baby. An alien rifle. I feel like that's from another video game that I don't know about. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in, in form. This device must have been designed by with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens have built the structure with themselves humanoid or otherwise employ the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. I have no need to remove the rifle from the case, but you know. Oh, okay. It just music just cuts out. Great. There's another ion cube. It's through there. What's through here? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's one of the teleporters! Is there a way to power this one? No? Well, that's unfortunate. They probably linked to somewhere deeper down in the in the water is the thing. That's, that actually scared me a little bit. All right, let's go up. Anything on this level? No. All right. Oh, by the way, if you fall, this is pretty much certain death, so don't. Ah, there's another one I like to see. We're gonna need these in the future. Again, forget the fact that I'm walking so slowly. I'm trying to conserve energy. Running makes you get hungry and thirstier faster. Ooh. I'm pretty sure this is the Doomsday device. Yep. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunction. Yeah, but watch when you get close to it. So creepy. So creepy. Here we go. My game's lagging a little bit because of this place. This is the control room. Please don't need an orange tablet. Please don't need an orange tablet. Scans indicate the facility's control room mm -hmm. lies beyond oh, this Oh, thank doorway. goodness. We go. All right. Actually, first, if I do this. Self scan yep. complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, mm -hmm. detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Yep. Oh boy. Here we go. Can't remove this. Look at this, though. This is weird. Oh man. Oh. I hate that part. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation mm -hmm. reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Planet's under quarantine, there you go. This device has energy equivalent to a 100 MT nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull. Translating Oop. background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. What? Oh, the facility locations! Background, yep. Disease Research Facility 800 down. Cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of the enforcement platform. Live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious disease bacterium designated Kara, which is what we have. Thermal power facility. Depth 1,200 meters. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. And then sanctuary A and B and all the others corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection 
off world. So unless, so basically, you know, nothing can leave this world, nothing can come on. That's why when the, that's kind of the lore behind this. When the Aurora slingshotted itself, that's what the Aurora was trying to do, slingshot itself around, use it as like gravitational and shoot away from it. The alien facility kind of, you know, got the assumption that it was coming too close and so it shot it down. Did the same thing to the, uh, the Torgals, the Degasi, shot it down. So it's just like, you know, it's one of those things. It's protecting, like, I understand, you know, but I just feel like it is wrong what it's doing, but here's the thing. If the Sunbeam would have rescued me in the state I'm in now, I would have spread this Kara to Earth. The precursors didn't even know how to fix this. I mean, they could create a doomsday device. They, they built this with their, you know, bare hands and their tools to the point to where, like, it just said 100 MT's worth of nuclear power, which, as far as I know, that's enough to destroy the entire universe, and they're just using it to power this facility. If they could do that, and they can't cure the Kara, it, it just shows you how, how bad of a disease it is. So if the Sunbeam would have gotten me off, I would have spread the disease to them, then our entire world would have been affected. And most likely what would have happened is the Earth would have been wiped out, human race gone. So it's like, I can see why they're doing it, but then there's the fact, like, they've killed a lot of people already just trying to prevent this disease. So it's just unfortunate, you know? I'm gonna eat the, uh, the other thing really quick soon, but I'm gonna go back to my Seamoth first, and I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna explore just a little bit in the cave, and then I'm gonna get home and in the episode. We'll come back here eventually, because, like, now I know how to, how to avoid the Reaper, now I know it's not that horrible. So we will get back here eventually, but until then, like, I just need to go back and prepare better get i need to build a modification station which is something i actually am going to try to do in this episode first i need to get out of here though which way was it again it's this way okay again forget the fact that i'm going so slow i'm literally just trying to conserve energy so i don't run out of food that's 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 literally it okay i'm almost out there's sunlight well it's daytime at least so that's wait nope that's a that's an artificial light never mind it does look like daytime though i think this is the way out okay it is daytime sweet and okay, now we're just going to get over here and go into the cave that was over here there's a big cave here somewhere i don't remember where there's over here yeah okay it should be magnetite in here actually yes no nope, that's lithium oh i don't want to go underwater that's why oh nope back over here we go back over there we go so it's just lithium all right well this is diamond we kind of needed that pick up some lithium eat that now let me see can i see any magnetite down here no, i can't Interesting. I wonder where they put the magnetite at. I love how the music cuts out and then goes back in as you get up here. It, 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 it's basically saying don't go down there. Fine, I won't. All right, well, we looked around in there. Now I'm going to go home and finish up some things. Hopefully there's not a... Oh! Oh! <gasps> no way. I should be good, Reaper-wise. No way. No way they're just right there. Well, now I want to find the last one. Anything? I'm getting into Reaper territory. But I'm actually not scared. Now I want to find... No. Oh, come on. You gave me two... <gasps> yes! 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 Oh, no way, dude. I'm leaving. Oh. Hey, screw you, bud. Yeah, that's right. Book it out. Dude, I'm leaving. I cannot believe it was that easy to find those three. I thought I was going to have to come back and look around by the Reaper. I'm so happy. This has been one of the best episodes I've recorded so far, in my opinion. Scary. Well, it was scary, but it was good. You know, like, I'm just going to get back to my Seamoth really quick. The one thing I didn't find is Magnetite, but it's fine. I know where to find that. Actually, frick that. I'm just going to go. How okay, yeah, I'm going to go over here. Well, let's see. Can I make it? I'm getting a bit bolder now. I'm not as scared. It's, it's awesome. It's a good thing. You know, like, wait, have I seen this one? I have. Ah, <laughs> I say that as I just freak out over that. Oh, I don't like this. All right, we're just going home. Right after, I want to see if I can find uh, some gold. Do I have any gold? No. This might just be the... There we go. Okay, so let's... Ah, oh, freak. Sorry. Let's uh, let's kind of go up here and then just look here. So what I want is the modification station. In order to get that, I need a computer chip. To get a computer chip, I need gold and copper wire. So I need more copper. I need like a bunch of copper. Can I find any copper? Ooh, this looks like a big one. Do we have any copper in here? That's what I like to see right there, baby. I'm gonna pick you up. Come on, copper. Titanium's fine, but I want copper. Okay. All right. There's copper. How much space do I have? I have enough for now. What the frick are you? You're a whole fish. Oh, I forgot about you. Sweet. Oh, that's what I don't want to see. Come on, come on. There you go. There's another one. Fantastic. I was trying to see if I could spawn both of them. It didn't work. Oh, I did spawn both of them. Okay, sweet. Another copper, titanium, copper. Okay, I think I have enough for now. Get back to my sea moth. Let's go home. Where, which way was home? That way. Got it. Sorry. 
I love this thing. Am I going in a... I feel like I'm in a bad area, but I'm just gonna stay. Yeah, I'm definitely in a bad area. Oh, I'm definitely in a bad area. I am gonna go kind of, kind of this way. Oh... We're gonna, we're gonna kind of... Where's... Okay. Yeah, because... What, where am I at right now? I can't tell. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, there should be reef backs here. I thought. Okay, yeah, I'm fully aware of where I am. I'm fully aware of where I'm at. Oh, it gets dark. Oh, it gets dark. Look at this, though. That is ridiculously dark. Welcome home, baby! Sorry. Oh, good to be back. Today was successful. Today was very successful. So now I need a computer chip. What are you? That's gonna be the... Okay. Oh, yep, this is a warper. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mm-hmm. Hunting. Mm -hmm. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. In other words, the warpers caught on to the fact that we're here and when we shouldn't be here and they're trying to make sure we don't get off the planet alive what did i pick up oh i can make a purple tablet i didn't even realize that computer chip copper wire there we go and computer chip now i should just be able to make you yes so let's put you right 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 here there we go and with that i can upgrade everything so i have the lightweight capacity and the ultra high capacity i need one more lithium for ultra high and then i can do how do you make a plastic ingot again i think it's like a titanium ingot and something else titanium ingot and lithium so what's the difference between the two? Oh yeah i can make ultra glide fins with two silicone rubber which is really easy so let me see here a thermal blade just needs a battery well frick i'm getting that because i have copper now i just need you two there we go. The thermal blade is really useful. Really useful. So for the thermal blade, you slice things and it cooks them instantly, which is really awesome. I'm stuck. Okay. There we go. There we go. Got myself some of that. All right. What else would I need? Um, okay. So I kind of want... Here we go. Enameled glass. I need a stalker tooth. Wait, can I Can I build a scanner room? Did I ever get that? <sighs> Unfortunate, it's all right. But yeah, I'm gonna need a plastiline. Actually, can I just go straight from, that'd be interesting. But I wanna see, cause I have the lightweight high capacity, ultra high capacity. I'm trying to build, I'm gonna try to build the ultra high capacity really quick. I should have one more lithium just like right in here. Yeah, okay. And then I'll just come over here, take you off and build. So watch what this gives us. We go from 135. Oh, it's so much. Look at that. Holy crap. 225. That's really good. And then, of course, the Cyclops will work on the depth module. But, um, yeah. So that's just about everything. I do want the ultra high, ultra glide fins. I just need two silicone rubber. That's really easy. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. It was two silicone rubber and something else. What else was it? Lithium, which, of course, I have. Let me grab the lithium. And then let's, let's take a nappy nap. Now that we're awake, it'll be daytime. Yep. And now, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, to, oh yeah, I, I forgot I wanted to get water. If I'm correct, all I need to make that is just one creep fine C cluster. Okay, and then of course that is a titanium ingot and two lithium. All right, so I need two, actually, wait a minute. Doesn't one creep fine C cluster give you two silicone rubber? Yeah, it does. Okay, well then let me just really quick run and get that. <laughs> I love how my, my power system's still working, so that's really good. Okay, I should just be able to go up. Stop! growling at me you're being so rude all right i should just be able to there over there come on i just need one seed cluster oh you're really close to here aren't you how close are you though it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine get back in all right definitely over in that general direction i just don't know where you know it's really weird but yeah so i got this creep vine cluster let's go back down to my base and make this and then win the episode all right so now i should just be able to run over here and boop almost almost made it. yeah that okay there's two and then i just take my fins off put you on and now watch this watch me swim I'll take you, thank you. So much faster, so much better. While I'm down here, why don't I just take advantage of all the oxygen I have? Pick up a few things. Should be, should be diamonds down here. Yep. Diamond. Gonna pick up as much lithium as I can, because lithium's gonna be useful here very soon. Any more diamonds you got for me? Ooh, nope. No, unfortunate. Oh, yep. There we are. Lithium, okay, that's fine, still good. All right, lag. How many diamonds do I have now? I have, that's just one. I have more than that. Do I have any in here? Interesting. Oh, well, gonna load you up. 
That's gonna be just about it for this episode here. Hope you did enjoy. What was it that needed? Wait, what can I, I can build another storage? Don't need that whole reinforcement. I needed three more diamonds. Okay, and that just makes it like harder to hit things. So that's fine. Probably only a computer chip to do the uh, engine that thing. So that's all good. I got the depth module one. Okay, it's gonna be everything for this one. And next episode, hopefully, we're gonna work on making the Cyclops baby. Oh no, I need three and <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that difficult. Oh, plastic link is fine, but dear God, three. That's actually possible though, but it's gonna be a bit, it's a bit of an interesting episode. But hey, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, uh, comment what you thought, and subscribe for when the new ones come out. And uh, wow, these no, are these still growing. Yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. This is of course Royal Gaming signing out. Bye.